At its narrowest point, the North Channel in the Irish Sea separates Northern Ireland from Scotland's Kintyre Peninsula by only 13 miles. The Emerald Island of Ireland is comprised of both Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland and is home to well over 900 miles of coastline. Deep harbors, dramatic bold cliffs. The capital of Northern Ireland, Belfast, or Via means mouth of the sandbar. Today, this is a center of industrial innovation. With deep roots, Belfast was once home to one of the biggest shipyards in the world, which built the Titanic. The city was also the epicenter of political violence for a 30-year period called the Troubles, beginning in 1968, when the constitutional status of Northern Ireland was heavily disputed. Once considered one of the most dangerous cities in the world, Belfast is now one of the most safe and popular. At only 17, David Carberry is a fantastic hard shoe Irish step dancer. With first-hand knowledge of the troubles, Gerald Lachlan is a taxi driver and a guide. I became a black taxi driver in 1991. Between 1991 and 1993, driving a taxi in Belfast was one of the most dangerous occupations in the world. People could tell if you were a Catholic or a Protestant, and so many taxi drivers were killed during that period. It started as an accident for me. When people asked to be taken around the areas to see where the troubles were, I became the go-to. We had a thing here during the Troubles, and it was called the circle of violence, or the cycle of violence. The cycle keeps expanding, and the violence gets worse, and then it will contract, and then an incident will occur, and the violence expands again. As we went into the, the 1970s, you had the retaliation from the Loyalists, and then it became a bit more frightening, so it did. Both communities retreated into their own areas. You didn't go into the city centre after night because of bombs going off. The murals are a massive benefit in this city. On the Catholic side, you have to do the International Walk. You have the likes of Frederick Douglass, Martin Luther King, Barack Obama, Rosa Parks. You also have the one, the iconic one of Bobby Sands. We are a society that has 17 peace walls in it. These divide communities. You cannot airbrush history, but no one wants to live in a society that is defined by walls. Belfast is much more than the walls. Belfast is a city that has overcome disaster and turned it into triumph. If you drive south for an hour, you've got the mountains of Mourne and Carlingford Lock. If you drive west for an hour and a half, you've got the Fermanagh Lakelands. You've got Belfast itself for its nightlife. We have three Michelin star restaurants in this city. If someone had told me that 20 years ago, I, I mean, you wouldn't, have, you wouldn't have believed it. Since I could walk, I've been dancing. My mum wanted rid of me on a weekend. She sent me to class for babysitting, so that's how I got into it. I train for two hours each day, five days a week. The thing I think about Irish dancing that makes it unique from other forms of dancing would be the physicality of it. A misconception would be that they think it's easy going, it's relaxed, but it's completely different. It's straining on the body. And the difference between hard and soft shoe is that the hard shoe has a heel and a tip, where a soft shoe just has a heel. So in the hard shoe you have to make double the taps that you would in the soft shoe. Growing up, I'd probably say Michael Flatley was my greatest influence because of the modernisation change that he made to it. That's what inspired me to dance. When I watched Flatley dance on television, it was, it was just mind-blowing. Like, the way he moved, the way he flowed around the stage, like, 
he turned it from something so small to something so big. My family's initial response was very supportive and they always backed me in everything I'd done. It was quite hard because my parents were mixed married, so my dad's Protestant. So it was hard for his family to get their head around it, but got there in the end. I was training for about 10 years before I eventually got my breakthrough and won the Worlds and I had to deal with many injuries on the way that set me back but I just kept going. I still can't get my head around winning the World Championships, it was just like out of this world. In the future I hope to win two or three more World Championships to settle my competition days and then hopefully go on to a major show like Lord of the Dance or Ripper Dance. Uh, Ice dancing is a completely different way of life. It's it pushes you to your limits, it teaches you how to balance sport with school, and it gets you around the world. On an arc through the northern counties, from the majestic cliffs of Moher, all the way over to the noise and excitement of Dublin, Ireland offers some of the most peaceful coastal settings on Earth, and some of the liveliest. What adventures await?